maybe we can talk yeah. about three tips uh, for insurers, you know, in dealing with startups. Immerse yourself in the startup culture. Bring on people that have experience. Uh, dealing with startups, assessing a vendor's capabilities, a startup's capability, you know, engage in a pilot. Hey guys, uh, we are here today with Philip from Slice. Philip has been working in the insurance industry at large carriers but also at startups. Working with a startup, it's a very different uh, pace. So startups don't have necessarily the amount of time to work at the traditional pace or the resources. Um, so what I'd like to do is maybe we can talk yeah. about three tips uh, for insurers you know, in dealing with startups. Number one. The first one I'll say is immerse yourself in the startup culture. Uh, you know, and there, there's multiple yeah. ways to do this. You know, I would say go to Silicon Valley, go visit, you know, the tech giants, go visit startups, you know, in, in the valley. Uh, more specifically here in the UK and Europe, you know, visit, you know, the intratech hubs. Uh, there, there is an, a tremendous amount of activity happening. You can come here to London, you can go to Berlin, you can go to Munich, you can go to Paris, you can go to Madrid. And, you know, there are intratech hubs in all of these cities. Immerse yourself in that culture and understand and see how those companies work. Number two. The second tip I would say is, is you know, the people that you bring in and that you have within uh, your company, your firm, and, and the people that you put in charge of dealing with the startups. Ideally, you would have people that perhaps, you know, ran a startup, have worked in a startup, sold a startup to an insurance company, and now you have these people within your team that understand the pace at which a startup needs to work, but also the culture of a startup, because you know we have the culture of an insurance company and then the culture of a startup. You know how do you bridge the two together? And it's the people that are going to make the difference. Number three. The third point I would say is really look at how you engage with startups. Uh, you know the reality is startups have you know uh, in some cases a limited amount of resources and. As a result, you know, every project, that engagement with you is very significant. So quickly, uh, we need to assess, you know, is, is this going to be a fit? Is this going to work or not? Um, so the traditional approach of spending perhaps a lot of time assessing the market, assessing a vendor's capabilities, uh, a startup's capability, you know, engage with them in different ways. And, and, and the best way that we have found is engage in a pilot, right? So, so do a pilot, take a product to completion, um, and, and, you know, at the end of that process, which will be a short, finite process, uh, you know, you should know everything that you need to know. Our customers know everything that they need to know at the end of our hackathon about our platform's capabilities and, you know, how Slice works, how Slice engages. So to recap, you know, the three items I would say, you know, make sure you, you immerse yourself in, in the culture of a startup, go visit them, you know, bring on people that have experience. Uh, dealing with startups and then really consider you know how you engage with a startup keeping in mind that that time is critical in a startup so we need to quickly figure out is this going to be a fit is this going to work or not and if you do these three things then you know we can be fully aligned in doing great things for the insurance industry if you want to test this out come visit our office we've got a one of these hackathon centers in Toronto but you know uh, insurers have come visited us in New York and Toronto and London and then, you know, we can facilitate these types of sessions where you really understand, you know, how we work, how we engage and the type of people that we have. Thank you very much. All right. So if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for our newsletter so we can give you all the hottest, newest trends we scout around the world for free even sooner.